What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks where we're going to be doing a new trend that's going around. Just started last week. I just noticed it and I found it kind of interesting. Smoked cream cheese, but you know what? I'm going to be doing it with some brisket, some hash green chilies, and guess what? This ain't going in there, but go ahead and take a shot with me because I'm on vacation starting the day. Let's get it poured up. Got a little western sun. Once we get this shot in, Time to roll tape. All right, so look, let's tell you what we have and what we're going to be using. I chose to go with the Trooper Cobra Brisket Magic. So it's going to be putting a little brisket on there as our coating. And I got this Hardcore Carnivore Amplify Mega Savory Flavor Dust. And I figured since it's cheese, you know, that would be a start for a base. And, of course, I got this Hatch Green Chili Season. So I picked up some of these from my local HEB here over in Texas. I don't think they got those anywhere else, so we're blessed. I'm going to put this on top of that at the end. And as you can see, kind of over in the distance, I got a little bit of brisket magic going over in my sous vide um, cooker. Bring that up to about 140, let it cook for about 30, 40 minutes, however long you need to. It's already cooked, get it tender, and we'll be putting that on at the end. So the first thing is first, two blocks of cream cheese is what I'm going to be using. You use one, but I'm going to go with two. You can use a regular pan, but I chose to use a cast iron skillet. Take your knife, go down, make a little, some little cuts, little cross hatches. You don't have to get fancy with this. I think I'm going to go a little sideways right here for this dip. Now you're thinking like, dang, it's cheese. It's going to melt. Well, what I saw, it gets a little crust on the outside and it doesn't fully melt. And it, it actually looks pretty good. So just like that, cross hatches and all, just like that. Go ahead and hit it with your flavor dust. Don't worry about putting it on the sides, but if you can get it right there, if you want, if you can. But you shouldn't need it. Just a little bit of flavor dust. And on top of that, hit it with your favorite barbecue rub. But today, like I said, a little crust action because there's a lot of big salt particles and pepper particles and other things in here. And I want, when I, you know, bite in it with my chip, I figure, you know, what's better than having a little bit of crunch and just like that that's all i want and all you have to do now is let's go put it on the smoker all right so we're out here at the smoker and i got this thing rolling about 225 now i want to be careful i want to make sure that my heat doesn't come up too high so what i'm going to use for that today of course i got the cyber q old style version but it still works got it set for 225 right there on the gauge got my stack closed about a quarter of the way right there and got the bottom vents closed all the way cream cheese is ready to go on so let's go ahead and get this thing open so today i'm using a little bit of cherry and of course some oak give a little good flavor on there you can use whatever you want i wouldn't use nothing too strong um but it depends on how you like your cheese so let's go ahead and put this on and what i did is just basically you know, went on and did an indirect heating method and got my plate in there for indirect heat on this Weber Summit. Everybody's smoker is different. And then threw a couple pieces of wood on there. And here you go. It's all ready. Let's go ahead and get that put right there in the middle. And boy, does that look good. And now we're going to smoke it at 225 and hopefully the CyberQ helps out keep that temperature level where it wants or stable, not level, stable. And then uh, we're going to let it go for like two hours. I'll come back in about 30 minutes to an hour, or 30 to 45 minutes, and I'll check it. And that's the alarm right there for, you know, low heat. Let's go ahead and turn it off. And stay tuned. We'll come back. Check it out. All right, so this smoked cream cheese has been on for about an hour. So let's take a look at it, see what it looks like. It's still rolling about 225. It looks like the Cyber Q is doing its job. Oh, man. 
cheese starting to separate a little bit right there. My little cross cuts right there I've done on the cheese. Nothing fancy. All right, so I think I'll let these go another 30, 45 minutes, maybe an hour. Come back and check them. And what we're looking for from what I'm learning is, so right here on the edges, when it starts turning good and yellow, almost like, you know, uh, a coating or something like a hard coating that's pretty much saying it's going to be almost done so we're going to let this roll and then I'll go inside and get this brisket and this these hatch green chilies cut up for some topping it's going to be good I know it All right, so we got the cream cheese back inside. Just look at that right there. All smoked up. Didn't melt all the way. Kind of broke up between where I made some cuts. I got some brisket and those hatched green chili peppers mixed up. And I got me some um, chili lime Fritos and some regular big Fritos here on the side. So let's go ahead and take a taste of this. I want you to get a good look at that. Let me get my glove on so I can... Bring it to the camera. And it looks good. So first off, I want to put some of this brisket all on top of there right there. Just like that. Then we want to just get this chip and figure out how good it's tasting. Mm. Some of that cheese. Right there. Look at all that. That looks good. Mm. It's pretty dang good. Got the brisket mixed with the hash green chilies with the brisket barbecue rub. Got some of that hardcore carnivore amplified seasoning in there. So if you're looking to do this cream cheese recipe, go ahead and give this recipe a try. First time doing it. It's way better than I thought it would be. Had to get another chip right here. Good old chunk of cheese. Need some brisket on that. Mmm, mmm, that's good. More videos. Stay tuned for next time. Toothpicks.